We are Danger Force. Yeah. Mika is a good role model because of her leadership and her strength. I can pass your test anything. Give me your test and I'll pass it. You got this. Miles, he stands up for people when he sees them getting bullied or something like that. He, he's just that kind of person. I plan on living with an open heart and a strong mind. And I will remain like that until the solution presents itself. <sighs> Who made you this way? The system. Something heroic about Bose is he's never down. He's always happy and just energetic and having fun. <laughs> Ow. What makes Chapa a role model is she's very outspoken. Like if she sees something wrong or something that she doesn't feel is right, she'll she'll say something. Those aren't our names, you dig? My definition of a hero is someone that's just kind, helping, caring, selfless. Somebody who's a honestly good person, a selfless person. Doing whatever you can to help others around you. Someone who does things because it feels right and it's an actual good thing that they want to do. Real life heroes to me are, of course, my parents. They are just so selfless, always doing everything for me. I mean, if it weren't for them, I would definitely not be having this interview right now. Some real life heroes for me is definitely like my mom and dad and my sister. I feel like this goes without saying, my mom, my dad, I'm because of all the things that they sacrificed for me to be where I'm at right now. So they're definitely number one on that list. Well, I have to say this, my mom, because she is a single mother who raised me all by herself. She's amazing. She's incredibly strong, smart, and caring. And I appreciate all that she's done for me. It is very important for a child to have someone who they look up to. That's like probably one of the keys to success, being able to talk to someone about life or, you know, ask them for guidance. That's, that's, that's a very good thing to have, a good person in your corner. It is very important for a kid to have a leader, especially a really good and caring person to look up to, because it gives them the idea of how they want to move forward. It doesn't mean you have powers or you run around with a cape and wear your underwear on the outside of your pants. That's not, that's not being a hero. Being a hero is give your seat to an elderly person, open doors for people. I'm telling you, that stuff goes a long way. If you see some trash on the ground, you know, pick it up, put it in the trash can. Being kind to anyone in general just really goes a long way, and that's how you can be a hero. Mika is a very strong-willed, natural leader, caring, and smart person. My character, Bose, is he's the best. He would totally be someone I'd hang out with outside of filming. My character, Choppa, is very determined. She's a little feisty and sassy, but she's still very loyal to her friends. The character that I play on Danger Force, his name is Miles, uh, AKA AWOL, that's a superhero name. And I'm AWOL, because just like that, I'm gone. I love how caring Mika is, because I love how much she cares about her brother and she'll do anything to keep him safe. Actually, dear brother, I'm not scared. Whoa, you guys are related? Um, you didn't know that? that? I thought we established this. He feels like he's on a path that the universe is set up for. I'm supposed to be fighting crime. That's my path. And I feel the same way. So, you know, we're twinsies. He's so excited all the time. You know, there's never a dull moment with him. Love you, man. Oh, we'll get there. I like that I get to like relate to my character. I, oh, dang it. So what are the best powers a hero could have? Either teleportation or time travel. Of course, telekinesis. I'm using my powers. Being able to teleport is really cool, and being invisible, I think that'd be pretty sweet. What's my superpower again? You can move things with your mind. I thought that was Choppa. No, I can shoot lightning bolts from my hands. Sick. Obviously, I'm gonna say electrokinesis, like my character. Oh, kinesis? Like bows, because, you know, like picking up trash off the floor would be so much easier if you could just lift up the entire box of trash and just put it where it belongs. If I could design my own super suit, I would definitely stick with the color blue. I'd also put in probably some jeans. I think that'd look kind of cool. So if I could design my own, I feel like I wouldn't change it. The green the right. patch on my uniform, the black power fist, it, it makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel like I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? Just wearing it makes me feel good. So. I think the suit would be like, kind of like a leather almost, but like it looks like that, but it's actually like armor, so it's super strong. I think I would actually bring in Mika's neck piece into the thing, because I think that's really cool. I have a superpower! 
Okay, there would obviously be black in it. Spikes down the arm and down the spine. You know, I feel like eventually we're gonna get a hang of our powers and become like a super team. I want Schwartz to have a superpower so bad. What? I don't know, there's so many things that could happen with Danger Force in the future. In the future, I see both being the exact same uh, personality-wise. So y'all know how Miles is connected with the universe. You know, he he he's on a path and he can, he believes that the universe is the holder of all power, you know? So I feel like Miles' power would probably be to be able to read minds. I would like to see some cool new gadgets that Schwaz will make. I think that would be really cool. Hey, buddy, going To the haircut store. We're gonna get frosted tips. Frosted tips are very in right now.